genesis of something that is destined to become great starts with an idea, a wisp, like the forming of a great cloud that steadily grows into a swirling mass of substance and strength. So too was the formation of the breeding program at Imperio Egyptian Stud. Since 1970, Imperial Egyptian Stud has been dedicated to preserving and perpetuating the living art of the Egyptian horse. During this time, no effort has been spared to bring together one of the finest collections of Egyptian Arabians in the world today. The subtle combination of Nazir, Halima, Munyet El Nafus, and Sama are the four major bloodlines that are incorporated at Imperial Egyptian Stud. Each one of them is vital to the goals of Imperial. They supply particular characteristics that are unique to themselves. These qualities are necessary to produce a well-rounded individual that is also capable of passing on these traits. These bloodlines are utilized through their strongest and purest sources, thus enabling Imperial Egyptian stud to accomplish their final goal of continuing and improving the classic Egyptian Arabian horse. Nazir was born on August 9, 1934. Nazir's influence and prepotency has made him one of the single most important individuals in Egyptian Arabian breeding. Nazir's name refers to that which attracts the eye. He had a special nobility which held one in awe while in his presence. Nazir's sire was the powerful white stallion of extreme masculinity, Mansur. Mansur was most prepotent in producing wonderful proportion and great vigor in his offspring. The dam of Nazir was the beautiful bay Hadba in Zahimer bin Samia descendant to one of the society's famous foundation mares, Bint Habba El Sagira. Bint Samia's dam, Samia, is the strongest source of Habba and Zahi blood available in today's Egyptian pedigrees. Nazir was responsible for producing extremely elegant and correct individuals. He improved legs in general and also produced strong top lines, tremendous shoulders, and a nice depth of girth. Nazir's dominance in siring extreme classic type is evident in his foals. His prepotence is legend. He never failed to stamp his qualities in his offspring even to the fourth and fifth generation. Nazir produced several excellent sons and daughters that have been imported to the United States. Among the finest, was the top ten stallion Ansata ibn Halima. Ansata ibn Halima was out of the famous Dama Shawania mare Halima, who is one of the four cornerstones in the imperial breeding program. His influence in Egyptian breeding is already rivaling his father's. Another equally famous and illustrious stallion was the famous Morafik. His sons and daughters are foundation stock of breeding programs throughout the world. His dam, the beautiful Mabruka, was out of the queen mother of Egypt, Monyet El Nafus. Morafik was the sire of countless champions as well as many national winners. His full sister, Ansata bint Mabruka's blood continues through her sons, Ansata ibn Sudan, Ansata Shah Zaman, and Ansata Abbas Pasha. Ansata ibn Sudan was the first straight Egyptian stallion to be named national champion in the United States and has produced many exciting young champions. Ansata bint Bukra was another exquisite daughter of Nazir. Ansata bint Bukra's dam was the lovely brood matron Bukra who, along with Munyet al Nafus, were considered to be the most respected mares at the EAO during the 1950s and early 1960s. 
Imperial Egyptian stud is very fortunate to have representing the Nazir blood, Imperial Tiamo. Tiamo is a very beautiful and elegant young mare who was named in the top ten of the 1980s nationals at the age of four. She was also named top ten futurity mare the year before, as well as being chosen East Coast champion mare for two consecutive years, an unequaled accomplishment. She is a triple Nazir-bred mare by the Nazir son, Serenity Ibn Nazir. Her dam is the double Nazir-bred mare, S.F. Bint Bint Mamluka. Tiamo carries all the elegance, refinement, and spirit one would expect of her pedigree. One of the strongest Nazir-bred individuals used at Imperial is the multi-champion mare Malakat El Gamal by Wasim, and out of the Hadba and Zahi mare Nadia. Considered to be one of the most beautiful mares ever imported from Egypt, Malakat carries Nazir as her grandsire on both sides of her pedigree. Three of her four female lines trace to the great Samia, Grand Dam of Nazir, thus making Malakat El Gamal a producer of predominant Hadba and Zahi qualities. Amala, by the Ramses Feyak San Mowafik, and out of the Saklawi mare, Amina, carries three lines to Nazir, two through her sire and one through her dam. This young, spirited mare is already a producer of champions and has just begun leaving her mark of quality on the Imperial Egyptian stud breeding program. Halima was a Bay Dama Shawania mare born in early 1944. She was a perfect combination of the strongest sources of Daman blood. Her value as a broodmare is most recognized through her son by Nazir Ansada ibn Halima. She was by the beautiful Daman Shawan stallion Sheikh El Arab, who was considered to be the loveliest and most prepotent stallion produced by the society during that time. Sheikh El Arab's sire was the masculine stallion Mansur, Nasir's sire. Sheikh al Arab's influence was immeasurable, and when his half-brother Nasir was crossed on his daughters, they produced some of the most outstanding specimen of the breed. His dam Layla was by the world-class stallion Ibn Rabdan, who was one of the most famous stallions of all times in Egypt. His influence on the breed in the 1930s was very strong. Layla's dam was the exceptional brood matron Bint Saba. Her dam Saba is one of the two strongest sources of Daman blood. The Saba line has yielded excellent stallions and mares and are invaluable as foundation stock. They're generally characterized by compact conformation, well-shaped necks, excellent overall balance, and high tail carriage. The blood of Saba is best brought forward in today's pedigrees not only through Halima, but also through the beautiful mare Bukra. Bukra was by the influential stallion Shalul and was a direct daughter of Bint Saba. Bukra was described as one of the most beautiful mares ever produced by the EAO. Halima's dam, Ragya, was again by Ibn Rabdan, thus doubling up on his famous blood. Ragia's dam was the matriarch Farida, the second strongest source of the Daman characteristics. The Farida line is noted for an extreme head with large expressive eyes and a classic body type. One of the most impressive progenitors of the Halima family at Imperial is that of the beautiful bay mare Ansata Nile Mist. Nile Mist by national champion Ansata ibn Sudan, is a double Ansata ibn Halima granddaughter, whose tail female line traces back to Bint Saba, from the Ansata ibn Halima daughter Falima, through the Babson mare Bint Bint Saba. This combination of breeding creates in Ansata Nile Mist an extremely prepotent Daman mare.
the pure in the strained Dhamma Shawaniya mare. Negma is a perfect example of how the Farida and Saba blood influences today's breeding. Negma is a full sister to the respected sire El Hilal, both being by Ansata ibn Halima and out of Bint Nafisa. Both of Negma's tail female lines trace back to Farida. She truly is an asset to the breeding program at Imperial. Ansata Imperial, one of the herd sires at Imperial, is the embodiment of his illustrious pedigree, carrying the blood of Halima and Bukra through both of his main female lines. His concentration of Daman breeding is reflected in his supreme type and refinement. In addition, there are strong lines of Munyet al Nafus and Sama blood, which adds elegance and strength to his offspring. No one mare has been more significant to Egyptian breeding than Monyet al Nafus. Through her ennobled blood flowed the vitality of spirit, the classic beauty, and elegant refinement sought by the true connoisseur of the finest Egyptian breeding. Her blood is steeped in the elegance and quality, which is the essence of the Saklawi horse. Her sire was the elegant Saklawi stallion Shalul. He was by Ibn Rabdan the main sire at the RAS in the 1930s and out of the lovely mare Bint Radia. Monyet El Nafus's dam was Wanisa by Sheikh El Arab and society's most beautiful stallion. One of Monyet El Nafus's daughters was Mabruka, who was by the famous race stallion Sid Abuham. He was a most prominent sire in the 1950s and was bred to Monyet El Nafus many times with excellent results. Mabruka, bred to Nazir, produced the famous stallion Morafik, who was then bred back to his grand dame, Munyet al Nafus, and produced the champion and champion producer, Ibn Munyet al Nafus. The Munyet line is characterized by their feminine, elegant qualities, excellent action, well proportioned bodies, and extremely concaved profile in their heads. The offspring of Munyet al Nafus has played a major role in realizing the goals at Imperial Egyptian stud. Her elegant beauty is proudly displayed in the double Munyet bred mare, Farah. Farah's sire was the Morafic son, Farag, and she was out of the beautiful Dama mare, Tamria. To see Farah's dry, chiseled head and large, expressive eye is to see Munyet al Nafus. Imperial has acquired the blood of Monyet al Nafus through her son and grandson Ibn Monyet al Nafus. His daughter, A.K. Marina, out of the fine Babson mare, Morena, is one of the loveliest mares to favor the Imperial broodmare band. The breeding program at Imperial Egyptian Stud relies heavily on the blood of Monyet al Nafus through the herd sire Monyet al Nafis. Monyet al Nafis is one of the most intensely Monyet bred stallions in the world with all four of his female lines tracing to Monyet al Nafus. Monyet al Nafis exhibits all that is expected of a stallion so intensely line bred. The genetic strength of his ancestors and his own personal qualities is the embodiment of the term sire in the purest sense of the word. A fundamental ingredient in the breeding program at Imperial Egyptian Stud is the strong introduction of the Sama blood. Sama's reputation as a herd sire in Egypt was attributed to his ability to transmit an extreme depth of hip, length of croup, and an overall smoothness of body consistently to his offspring. Sama's sire was El Moez. This stallion was known for his fluid body lines and fine dry head. Ibn Feda, El Moez's sire, traces back to the foundation mare for the Insha stud, Bint Sarifa. The dam of Sama, Samira, 
was by the famous stallion Eldir. Eldir was reported to be among the best Arabian stallions of his day. The evidence of the influence of Sama can be seen at Imperial in his three daughters, Serenity Sabra, Fokia, and Serenity Sonbola. The first of the three is Serenity Sabra, a Sama daughter out of Scheherazade, the full sister of the Russian stallion Aswan. The athletic ability of Sabra is evident in her fluid movements and grace. Her stride is free and true as she covers the ground with a balanced movement combining a smart reach and a powerful hawk action for which the Sama line is world famous. Another Sama daughter is the lovely Fokia out of the Nazir daughter Mamluka. Her picture-perfect conformation is characteristic of the Sama blood. She possesses the ability to pass on those traits that made her and her sire so popular. The last of the three daughters is Serenity Sonbola, who was out of the elegant Bin Om el Saad. Sonbola was the first straight Egyptian mare to win the coveted U.S. National Champion Mare Trophy. She's acknowledged among Arabian breeders as the prototype of the classic Arabian. Her beauty is considered the standard by which all others are measured. The Sama daughters inherited ability to perform with beauty and style, along with their superb conformational qualities, have made them a vital part of the Imperial Egyptian Studs breeding program. Just as these four horses contributed an immeasurable amount of quality to the breeding programs of the world, so does the successful blending of Nazir, Halima, Munyet al Nafus, and Sama provides the key to Imperial Egyptian Studs breeding program. The first major direction used at Imperial is the combination of Nazir and Monyet al Nafus blood. By breeding like to like, the result intensifies the characteristics of each bloodline. The main ingredient to be derived from the mixture of Nazir and Monyet is to instill the qualities of elegance, length of leg, a long slender neck, and expressive large eyes. This is evident in the Monyet El Nafis son, Imperial Amir Nafis, who was out of the double Nazir granddaughter, Malakat El Gamal. Building upon the combination of Nazir and Monyet, Halima adds more consistent type and classic beauty which the Daman blood was so famous for. The lovely Ansata Nile Miss daughter, Imperial Mystery, who was by the Marafic son Mosri, is just one of the superior brood matrons Ansata Nile Mist has produced for Imperial. Another direction used in the combination of these bloodlines is the adding of Sama blood to the Nazir and Munyat cross. The blood of Sama contributes a strong athletic ability and smooth body type that is most desired in an Arabian horse. Such beauties as Dalia, the Marafic daughter out of the top ten halter mare Romana II, is the evidence of the success of this mixture. Imperial Fania, out of the exciting Sama daughter Dina, and by the U.S. national champion Fala, possesses all the elegance of Nazir with the strength and smoothness of Sama. Her daughter, Imperial Nafata by Monyet al Nafis, is a step closer to the refinement and strength one expects of this combination. Imperial Nasib by Monyet al Nafis and out of Serenity bin Sonbola is another example of the success in blending the Nazir, Monyet, and Sama blood. This fine young stallion is proudly owned by Dr. Joseph and Kathy Pomasano of Baltimore, Maryland. The results of breeding the Munyet and Nazir on a Sama daughter is present in Fokia's elegant daughter by Munyet al Nafis, Imperial Nadra. This result is also evident in Nadra's three quarter sister, the lovely Imperial Sanbolara. Her dam is national champion Serenity's Sanbola, and her sire is Munyet al Nafis. Imperial Sanbolara's full sister, 
Imperial Sanboline, shows a remarkable resemblance to her famous mother, Serenity Sonbola. That same electrifying spirit and superb conformation that made Sonbola so exciting was displayed in Sanboline at the 1982 Pyramid Society Breeders' Sale 1. Topping this very successful sale, she was added to an already fine group of mares owned by Don and Marge Saluti of Birchnall Arabians, the winning bidders. Okay, I'm confused. 345, 350, at 345 on Tom, 345, 350, and Tom. Front row, 300 As four streams combine to produce a mighty river, so too the four bloodlines of Nazir, Halima, Monyet, and Sama meet to create the potential for excellence. This excellence comes to life in Imperial Imala. She is by Ansata Imperial and out of the Nazir bred mare, Amala. Her recent win as being named reserve regional champion as a two-year-old is only an indication of her and her full sister, Imperial Antada's future potential. This elegant filly stood reserve junior champion behind her sister, Imala, at the important East Coast Championships in Devon, Pennsylvania. Imperial Hintada is co-owned by Mike and Joan Hoffman-Smith and Mr. and Mrs. Ralph Hoffman of Westminster, Maryland. Imperial Injasin, a full brother to these illustrious fillies, has yet to step into the show ring, but he offers a promise that he too will join his sisters in the winner's circle. Another fine example of the success of blending these four bloodlines is seen in Imperial Empress. This beautiful filly, who is by Ansata Imperial and out of the Ansata Nile Mist's daughter, Mystery, is the epitome of classic beauty. Her full brother, Imperial Emperor, is co-owned by Gibson Arabians and Campbell Arabians in California. His impact has been immediate and unparalleled in the breeding industry. The implementation of Imperial Egyptian Studs breeding program is in its infant stage. The foundation has been set and Imperial Egyptian Stud anxiously awaits the results of the mating of Ansata Imperial's fillies to be bred to Monyet al-Nafis and the Monyet al-Nafis daughters being bred to Ansata Imperial. These foals will be the proof of the validity of the breeding program at Imperial Egyptian Stud. Imperial Egyptian Stud, under the direction and leadership of Barbara A. Griffith, awaits with expectation the final outcome of years of love and careful preparation. 